All right, the clock is ticking down to the solar eclipse. So you, if you haven't already made plans on where to watch it, now is the time. So in today's weather roundup, to make that decision easier on you, we sent Storm Team meteorologist Kristen Ketchell to check out some of the local spots holding celebrations. With a total solar eclipse just a week away, you may be looking for something fun for you and your family to do to view the big event safely. If you're planning on staying in Central North Carolina, several local places will be holding eclipse celebrations to help you get the most out of the once-in-a-lifetime experience. Here at Moorhead, um, we will have a viewing event the afternoon of Monday, August 21st, and there will be shows inside the planetarium. Um, those do require tickets to go to. They, the ticket does come with a free pair of eclipse glasses. And then we'll have other activities going on outside and inside the building, such as a live stream uh, of the eclipse and also um, viewing of the eclipse with eclipse glasses and other educational activities. Moorhead Planetarium in Chapel Hill estimates 5,000 visitors will stop by to view the eclipse, but the staff recommends traveling to the path of totality if you have the means to do so. The one thing I would say is I really encourage people, although we'd love to see people come here on the day of the eclipse, if you're able to get yourself to that path of totality, um, it will be well worth it. You will remember it the rest of your life. Duke Gardens in Durham will also be hosting their first astronomy themed event in its history to view the eclipse. Just excited about the opportunity to connect um, solar science and celestial science with the plants that are growing here in the garden and use it as a way to engage with people, introduce them to the garden potentially, and also just have a lot of fun learning about what's happening with the solar eclipse. We'll have some books and listening stations, uh, basically a number of different activities to explore and think about the way that we see, the way that light affects our, our bodies, the living things around us, particularly the plants that you can see around us in the garden. And in Raleigh, NC State is buzzing with anticipation for their solar eclipse event on the Brickyard. We'll have a live stream from along the path of totality from NASA that people uh, will be able to see where it actually goes completely covers the, the sun. Uh, and then we're going to have all kinds of, you know, fun activities. So beanbag toss games and uh, we'll have live music. We'll have giving away food and, and ice cream and of course water so that people stay cool. Now, whether you're planning on heading to the path of totality or attending one of the many events going on around Central North Carolina to view the eclipse, it's important that you view it safely. But one thing is for sure, there will be no shortage of fun activities for you and your family to take part in on August 21st. I'm Storm Team Meteorologist Kristen Ketchell, CBS North Carolina. All right, Kristen, all of those events are free, but parking and traffic can be an issue. Remember that. You can find more information about which one is right for you on our website, WNCN.com.